come home from work. We got a logging job in the yard. This is the house. It's home. I'll let y'all watch this truck get loaded. This is our, our spare loader that y'all seen in the yard a few different times. This is also, it's a two, Tiger Cat 234. This was one of the first electric over hydraulic loaders they produced. It has it the it has the electric controls in the in the cab with you. It don't have any hydraulic lines in there. So these are some of the trees that come out of our yard from the hurricane from Hurricane Laura. These things are massive. I need to go get a tape measure and pull a tape on them for y'all to show y'all just how big these daggum things are. They're huge. Huge. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees I can see so far on the front. It's eight going on it. Dang mosquitoes out here gonna make me jerk y'all around. This is a, a family friend of ours truck. We've known him for a long time. He has a little small logging job. He's a private contractor. He works on the outside uh, timber, not company land like what our job does. He's run shears for us, skidders for us. His family's always been in and around the logging. I'm not sure exactly. I'll have to ask them to make sure what they're making with this. I don't think it's lumber. I want to say they're taking these to make a... Uh, Dad going to rip steak off. Cross ties or fence post? I can't remember. It may be going to somebody's little private sawmill where they do actually make lumber out of this. But it's going for one of those three things. It'll either be took to a private, I think it's being taken to a private mill with a private little salt, like a little private little saw mill. I forgot to keep counting those trees. I think that's nine on the front. You should be fixed to start loading the back any time unless there's no weight limit going to that meal or wherever they're taking it and they're just going to load the truck. God knows what it'll weigh with all these things. Those are some old, old, old trees. If you go count the rings, that one on the bottom, kind of right in there, whenever I counted that one the other day, I want to say we were at like, I think I got to 74 or 76 ring, growth rings in the tree before I couldn't count them anymore because they went to getting so tight together you couldn't count them individual rings no more yeah he's fixing to start on the back back up so we can get a little bit wider shot here That's the fella driving the truck. It's gonna be the guy that owns the truck, son. So one of the things you learn about logging, most of the people in logging, <laughs> we got that on camera. <laughs> uh, they're they're family oriented. Everything's. A, lots of family involved like myself being a third generation and you should look at that tree in that bucket there the the tongs ain't even touching it's got about eight inches in between the tongs but just one log 
big old logs. Now that's my son up there on the loader with dad riding. Oh, and before somebody asks, and I forget about it, it's dad's new little skid steer thing. Not sure if he's going to buy it. Right now he's renting it to keep, uh, to help clean up the place around here. It's a John Deere 333G tracked skid steer. First time I've ever been around one of those little things and they are handy as a shirt on a pocket. Y'all can see the wood pile over here. Uh, and this is not everything. There's still lots of trees out there to go get up. Right here, some uh, oaks and stuff, some hardwoods that we got. I mean, there's another one right here that's down. This is a big pile of stuff that was no good that we got to burn. I mean, just to take y'all over here and show y'all without go getting a tape measure, show you the size. I mean, this is my hand here and it don't even reach. It's one hand, right, we're gonna leave that right there. It takes two hands on me to reach the center of that. And I don't know, I'd say my hands are about seven inches from the tip of the finger to the palm there. Some massive trees. Old trees. Damn, Dan! He forgot there was a tree there. We got that on camera too. Oh, he's ripped all the lines off the bucket. So, that right there bring up the thing of the electric controls inside this machine. Since it was one of the first ones that they produced, it's got some very, very wonky, goofy responses sometimes. Bump it down. That trailer got a lot of flex in it in that middle, not having anything in the middle there. I bet this stuff pulls top heavy as crap. I wish I could feel the ground, just him bumping them logs around right there. I mean, just barely bumping them around on the ground. Those things are so heavy, you can feel the ground just bump, 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 bump underneath you.
a while ago he was stacking that pile up with that loader and he'd drop one a little bit high you know about six inches or so from the ground and boom he just he, if you've been in the woods you know what i'm talking about it just makes a the ground just whoa just jiggles it makes like a thud almost sounds like if you've ever been around an army base almost sounds like an, a tank shooting artillery shell or something like that so hopefully y'all enjoyed that a little bit right there. Something different, something cool. I thought it was cool. So uh, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment down below. Ask some questions about this. I'm sure I'm forgetting to tell y'all something about it. Till the next one, I'll catch y'all next time.